186F is an exoplanet Ooh. discovered by the Kepler Space Observatory like in April 2014. That we can live on. This rocky planet orbits near the outer rim of its sun habitable zone and nearly 10% bigger than Earth and almost has similar radius, but it is 500 light years away from us. Only receives 33% of sunlight compared to Earth. Mm, that means it's, its cool. brightest day will be similar to evening time on the Earth. Kepler 186F rotates much more slowly than Earth, so its day could be weeks or months long. That's sad. I mean, it sounds really cool. Like, it sounds like a place I'd like to go check out if it wasn't 500 light years away. I don't want to get there. You know what I mean? Like, I would just like, this is why I'd like my superpower to be teleportation. You know? Because then I could just teleport, see if it's all cool. We like it, we like it, get out. You know? Because getting there would be a pain. Like half of us would have to be like chirogenically sleeping and the other half would like have to wait to die because they wouldn't live long enough to get there in time. Depressing, I know, but very, very cool that there is a planet out there that could support life. Kepler 452b is around five times the mass of Earth. It completes a full orbit in 385 days, but due to its large size, it also has twice the gravity compared to Earth and receives more sun energy, making it hotter than Earth. But still, it's a good candidate for hosting life if we're ever able to reach Kepler 452b. Unfortunately, this planet is 45,000 light years away. Yeah. Which means if we travel in a spaceship at a speed of 37,000 miles per hour, then 26 million years is needed to get there. My point exactly. E are more likely going to have to be able to like build an actual spaceship that can travel really, really long distances than we are to like actually find a planet in the next 60 years that we can live on. It's important that we do, but we will not find one in time. So, I mean, luckily I believe the International Space Station has like something like three billion or trillion dollars invested in it because they want to eventually be able to house like a million people on the ISS, which is kind of insane. I know that's a fact. That is a fact. I just can't remember how much money they invested, but you can you know it's a lot. You know it's a lot. The Kepler 186 Fahrenheit. This is a planet that if we could get there, we might be able to colonize with relative ease. Sadly, the world is 490 light years away, so it would take us hundreds of thousands of years to reach. The planet was discovered back in April of 2014 and is just 10% larger than Earth. Ultimately, Kepler 186 Fahrenheit is just the outermost of the five known planets in the Kepler 186 system. Kepler 186 is a red dwarf star, which means that it is considerably smaller and dimmer than our own sun. More than 70% of the Milky Way's 100 billion or so stars are red dwarfs. That's super interesting. I love talking about planets that um, we could potentially live on. And apparently, this is a statistic I read a while ago, but again, um, feel free to double check me in the comments. Uh, that for every grain of sand on the planet, there are a hundred planets that are capable of supporting life, which is kind of insane. If that's true, that's like. Where the heck is everybody? Welcome back to Top 10 Central Dark. Today we are going out into outer space talking about the scary things that the world might see or not see. Where where will we travel to? Who knows? Our list today is our top 10 scary planets that could have humans. That's kind of cool too. If they do have humans, let's meet them. Let's meet them, I'm ready. I want more friends. You can never have too many friends. Right? Right, Chris? That's nice. This celestial object orbits the star TRES-2, which is a yellow dwarf lying as far as 718 light years away from us. Straight out of a Marvel Let's take film. a closer look at it. Due to some unique properties of the chemical composition of the surface of TRES-2b, the planet absorbs over 99% of all the light shed on it. The nature of these properties remains a mystery and chances are there are some chemical reactions taking place on the surface that we have never registered on any similar object before. And it is these properties that make TRES to be the darkest exoplanet on the astronomical map of today. So no, like no humans could live there, for one. False. That doesn't sound like, mm, that sounds way too hot for anyone like us living there. As 
besides like amoebas and like things like that, like really small organisms, probably. Um, also talking about the glass planet, yeah, no one could live there unless they have like iron skin, you know? So I don't think anything lives there besides, um, you know, microorganisms, which is still life, but you know what I mean. Kind of like Venus, right? Kepler 62e and Kepler 62f. As their name suggests, these Kepler 62 planets are some other worlds that were discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. These planets would give us a little more room to work with, as 62e is about 1.6 times more massive than Earth, and 62f is just about 1.4 times as massive. These worlds are quite out there, at least as far as our ability to travel goes. They wander through space about 1,200 light years from Earth in the constellation Lyra. And if you are born on 62 E, you would be quite a bit older than you are now. It completes one lap around its parent star, which is a red dwarf, every 122 days. 67F has an orbit of some 267 Earth days. Researchers think that both 62E and 62F are water worlds and warm places mostly or completely covered by liquid water. That would be awesome. Again, would you be older, but would you age as fast? These are the questions. These really are the questions. Can I stay forever young? That is the question. Proxima b is an exoplanet, which is 4.2 light years away from the Earth, and first discovered in August 2016. Proxima b orbits the habitable zone of a red dwarf star named Proxima Centauri, and has the potential for survivable living conditions due to the presence of water. This exoplanet is actually 30% bigger than the Earth, and its one year is equal to 11 days. Whoa. Receives only 2% of light from oh. its nearby sun, and there are violent stellar winds that are 2,000 times stronger than those on Earth. Yeah, again, doesn't sound very likely, but it sounds like something could probably in the water, you know, because the water is kind of like definitely the food of life. But uh, the winds, I definitely, nope, get get the heck out of there. But it was very intriguing to start. It was very intriguing to start. We're like, okay, we'll see. You know, who knows? Who knows? One might complacently think it a safe planet, as it resembles our Earth by its looks. Ooh, it's all ice, But if it? one were to get as low as the level of its atmosphere, one would be exposed to some life-threatening dangers. One would be exposed. For a start, the object's winds carry particles of silicate Ugh. and develop velocities of 8,700 kilometers per hour. Besides, the rains on this planet cause precipitations of molten glass. The reasons for such hazardous weather conditions are extremely high temperatures and the atmosphere's peculiar chemical composition. Yeah, glass rain does not sound too hot. I love me a rainstorm. I love me a rainstorm. I could stand out in one of those and be content, content for the rest of my days. But uh, as soon as he said silicate, I was like, ooh, he's talking about like, instead of hail, you get like sharp fiberglass particles being shoved into you through winds. Gliese 581d. This world is just 20 light years away. Despite its close proximity and its location and its star's habitable zone, alas, the planet might have a thick carbon dioxide atmosphere. This would make it rather inhospitable. However, scientists also believe it could be rocky with liquid water, so although it might not be too grand for us, scientists think that it could harbor stunning rainforests. That would be awesome. But even if it does have oxygen, humans would find it a little difficult to thrive there, as it is seven times more massive than Earth. I mean, we need the room. We need the room over seven billion people on the planet. Getting crowded. And it's lying in a pulsar system. The celestial object is located just 0.36 astronomical units from the system's center. This shows that Poltergeist wouldn't have survived a supernova that must have taken place before the pulsar had been formed. Consequently, the exoplanet is likely to have formed after this tremendous event, mm. with the material for it coming from the nebula left after the explosion. The outstandingly powerful radiation emitted by the pulsar is enough to crumple any spaceship wanting to approach the mysterious exoplanet in its system. So I guess there are people living there, but they're just like hiding behind some crazy space lightning. That's the term, right? That's that's what scientists would call that. Fantastic. Uh, we are all stardust. 
I think that's really magical and beautiful and cool. The exoplanet Kepler-438b was first discovered in 2015 and located 470 light years away. Kepler-438b is just 12% larger Ooh. and receives 40% more light okay. compared to the Earth. Okay. But still, it's missing some necessary qualities for habitation, such as it doesn't have a proper atmosphere, uh. and the planet's nearby star emits flares 10 times more powerful than our sun. Mmm, yeah, see? And this, there's like lava people. Wouldn't that be cool? Just like giant lava people, and like you go to shake their hand, and you're like, ah, and they're like, no, the first friend I made on Earth. Ah, uh, wow, yeah, see, this is, this is the kind of Monday we're having today. It's a bit woo woo woo. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Rachel Fisher. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment. And until next time, take care and stay scared. Am I starting with number eight? Oh yeah, you can start with eight. All right, we'll start with the reading ones. Despite its close proximity and its location to its stars, yeah, as it, as it is, as it is seven times more massive than Earth and about twice its size. What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, as it's, they wander through space about 12,000 light years from Earth in, sorry. Uh, they wander through space about they wander through space. <laughs> Let's watch this video. Like we are more likely to have to like what the f